presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Kicking into Labor Day weekend, there we go. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make a difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 170. We get NASDAQ up 94. SPs up 22. Gold, gold contract up $8.10, traded at 1948 an ounce. We have silver up 4 cents, $24.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 31 cents, $80.14 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up 7 ticks, trading 109.21. The 30 year up 9 ticks at 120.0. One in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 15 ticks, trading 104.062. The euro out here at 108. The yen's at 146. And the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we pull the spy up first. What we have out here is that on Friday, folks, you know, you came down, you didn't break the swing, you rejected lower price at the highs of the lows, and bottom line, that's saying, guess what? Higher price is coming at us. So we're at 442, and what's game here still is this 446.27. The 446.27, where I'm getting that bar from, by the way, folks, okay? And we'll see how it comes into it. That's the last time we were, we were really coming down with some big volume. Not with some big volume, meaning there's big volume at the bottom that already rejected that. So we had come off the highs. We had a couple of big volume days there. And right there is basically, is, is that that's ice. That's what that is, okay? You know, we almost had hit it when we went up on uh, Friday. We hit 445.22. Uh, bottom line, it's going to get deviant and get up in, into that area. The Qs. We take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup inside the Qs. The Qs had come down. You know, bottom line, rejected lower price. We got down, you know, bottom line, get down to the price point of that uh, 358.50. You, The low there was at 354. The high was at 359. So rejected that area. And it looks to me like the Qs can actually get up into this uh, 373.13 area. That's how it's set up. And w we did hit that 372.74 on uh, Thursday. You know, as my take is so we're going right back up to that area because that's ice also, and we'll see how we get there. Now, you gotta remember, we're coming into Labor Day weekend, so we're also coming into window dressing, you know. Notes and bonds. But I think we got a couple big turns in the marketplace, folks, and, and one of them is the note and bond market. So, what you have with the note and bond market is this. We, Let's, let's put a much longer term here, because you will see just the type of devastation on the way down it was. Let's see, if I put a generic one, okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put a generic one up, meaning that it just ties the contracts together, and put this up for a full year. And you can see that the 10 year, we went down from 117, and we hit 108. Now, when we take a look at this, I'm going to put this on a two-year weekly now. Flip this around. 
And on a two-year weekly, what you can see, <clears throat> the low that was established, this goes back to uh, 2022, was 108.26. Well, we hit 108.28. I think that's it. That's, that's my point. The re and the reason I'm saying that is that what, what you had, if we take, now, now let's go to the actual bond. If we take a look at the bond, what you're going to see, the note rather, I'll just do the note though on a daily basis. What you're going to see as we got down here, you had a monster contraction with volume, then you came off those lows and you had a nice sign of strength. You came back into that sign of strength and you didn't get to the low of the sign of strength. What it also did is that when you take a look at it on a technical basis, it broke the downtrend. Now, the only downtrend that it actually broke here is from the 111.29. You know, so, you know, the type of beating that this took is going to be step by step. But that's telling me that this 10-year note wants to go to this 111.29. Now, you put that together with the aspect of how many rate hikes we've had, what Pyle has to say about the aspect of inflation, and they're going to be digital, diligent, and there's no doubt about that, um, you know, at Jackson Hole. And then on top of that, I keep an, a close eye, folks, on transportation cost, you know, from Shanghai to Tampa. And let me tell you, this, this, so this is the number. This is the factual number. At the peak, a container from Shanghai to Tampa was 14500 Do you know what they are right now? Just take a guess. And now this is a spot rate, 3,000 bucks. A spot rate means that anyone can call up and you're gonna get a 3,000 quote. You can imagine what Walmart, what Amazon, what all these people are, they're way down there. Who knows, I have no clue, but I can tell you something. You can see that the amount of destruction in price is absolutely dramatic. So my take is that we're, we've reversed this whole deal, rates, Higher rates are over, and then let's go to the U.S. dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what's so intriguing about the dollar is this. The dollar's been on a run. There's no two ways about that. Now, that's on the daily, and the dollar's been trying to get into this swing point from, you know, May of 2021. That swing point is 104.699. Now, we made it to 104.447. That being said, now watch this. When you actually put this on a larger scale, you can see that we've been in a consolidation. You know, this consolidation has been out here for quite some time. You know, we spiked it. And the lower part of this consolidation, you know, bottom line is down there at the 99.57. You know, so when we take a look at this, that's quite a, that's quite a consolidation. And my take is that it's failed at these higher prices. If they failed at the higher prices, lower prices are coming at us. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading up 162. NASDAQ's up 90. S&P's up 21. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds, as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 163. You get the Nasdaq up 86. S&P is up 20. Now, check this out. So I just brought up the Baltic Dry Index. This is also give, this is a transportation index. It also gives you an idea of what I was just talking about. You can see this pretty amazing, man. <laughs> I brought this back two years. Two years ago, 5,600. Today, 1,080. And what this gauge is, let's go through what this gauge actually is. So this gauge is the average of, okay, so you have all these different um, ships that, and, and what they rent for folks, okay? So this one here is 40% of this is a, a cap size. It has, that's a certain size of a ship. 30% is the Panmex. 30% is a super max. The bottom line is that you can see, you can see the difference. The difference is up. And, and now this, this has all rates. This is, you're talking about ship rates. You're talking about dry goods. I mean, it's, it's you know, 5,600 to 1,000. Yeah, that's where this thing is going. And it, it's, uh, it's, it's already done. That, that's the thing that is so impressive about this. It's already done. Let's go take a look for one of the tigers at uh, one of the silver set equities out here. You get first majestic silver, the lows 524, the highs 981. This company here, let's take a look at it. So this company here does business in the United States and Mexico. They take 120, 130 million in the United States, 486 million in Mexico. Gold is uh, 389 million, silver is 237. So it's, it's interesting that it's called a silver company which still takes more in gold. But bottom line, you know. So what you want with this one, uh, you know, when I, I finished the gold report out here this morning, so I'm doing a gold report seminar for my subscribers this Wednesday. If you want to be in that webinar, it's four to five, go over and sign up for the gold report. It comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you'll get the gold report for 30 days. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, 29th day, just cancel it and you'll be in the webinar. This one here, and this is, there wasn't a lot of them like this, but there, what there was is this. You had, in gold and silver equities, folks, well, well, hey, let me go through this first. This is gonna need more volume because what happened is this, is that 
when, when you go through these, you can see that, you know, it, it had some decent volume, but not enough to really get juice underneath it. So we have a bit of divergence inside of the gold and silver equities. Most of them are a lot stronger than this. And what this is all about, this is all about Mexico. Because what has happened is that there's a new law in Mexico. And, you know, the bottom line is that that can be trouble uh, in a very large way for many of these miners. You know, one of the miners um, that it is trouble for, okay, uh, oh my God, let me get this. Um, yeah, it'll come to me in a second. But first I want, okay, and, and what you also want to see is this, is that the silver market, now the, the reason this stock should be much stronger, I know this stock really well, is that the silver contract is much stronger than the gold contract. Now, gold's come off the bottom, that's my take, but what you can see is this. You can, silver rejected the lows that were established out here in June, this past June, okay? It rejected them, had lighter volume, all of the above. When we go look at the gold contract, the gold contract went all the way back to its strength of last March. That shows that silver's leading out of here. And what that should mean is that that should mean simultaneously is that what you would have is that you would have silver stocks that should be much stronger than the gold stocks. And in this particular case, you know, that's that equity there needs more help. That's the bottom line, you know. So um, if we take a look at the GDX, what you're going to see is that actually, you know what you want to look at here? Check this out. The GDXJ, this is going to get really interesting here, is stronger than the GDX. Now, this is the juniors. The GDXJ, you know, didn't get all the way down to the bottom. It was close. It, it, was, it was close, okay? This is almost the same chart. It was close. But you can see the type of volume that came in the GDXJ. The GDXJ, we're trading out at 35 right now. It looks to me like this thing wants to run to that 39. That was a decisive break as a lot of them did, okay, came back and tried to test, <coughs> excuse me, came back and tested it, had light of volume on the test of, we're talking about 6.7 million versus 12 million. On the test of the lows, it had uh, 5 million versus uh, 25 million, okay? But the GDXJ uh, ha has a whole different ball game going for it. And I've seen that happen many times in the business when metals are going to start running because what happens is this picture this the juniors will get hit harder on the way down and because they're more speculative and they start moving faster on the way up because they're more speculative because you got to remember something with the juniors with the juniors what happens is that many of the juniors are just getting going or they're still in the exploration phase so that price of gold and the price of silver is a huge deal for them because everything is predicated on what that price is. And the speculation is if someone's going to take you over, the higher that that price of silver or gold goes, the higher the greed factor comes into it. And that's where the juniors really get some real traction because what ends up happening is that when you look at the juniors, you know, they will come down on a, on a fundamental basis much higher, uh, much lower if it were going down than the actual producers, the larger producers, which makes sense because what ends up happening is that it's a promise going forward that when you're looking at a junior versus a Newmont, versus a Barrick, okay, versus an Eco Eagle, versus a Goldfields versus a Harmony, okay? Those stocks are established. They do millions of ounces of gold. You, you, you can know what you're going to get. You don't know what you're going to get many times on the junior because what ends up happening is that they're at the, the point of their lifespan that they're saying, we can get this much out of it. And if they do, and that, that the price of the actual metal is going up, well, then, then they get real action. We ought to take a look at the, uh, no, so let's go back to the GDX for a second. 
So we just did the GDXJ. We take a look at the GDX. The GDX right now, you know, bottom line, had a nice sign of strength. Come back, tested it, light volume. We tested with 16, 16 million versus 18, oh, versus 30 in the way up. The low tested with 18 million versus uh, 56 million. You know, that's a, that's a nice setup, man. So if you'd like to be in this workshop, folks, come over, sign up for the gold report. It's right under the, the front page of TFNN. And, um, and, you know, we'll be growling and prowling out here Wednesday afternoon, 4 to 5. And we're going we, to gonna, we're gonna be talking about not only, you know, gold, silver. We're going to be talking the dollar and bonds because that, that's what moves this gold market. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 147. Nasdaq's up 76. S&P's up 17. We'll come right back. Rising inflation, rocketing interest rates, a volatile dollar, an uncertain market, there's an asset that all traders flock back to, gold. However, these irregular times also mean a regular gold market, which presents its own unique challenges. This brings up the question, what moves the gold market? This is a question I'll be answering in my next live webinar. On August 30th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a live free webinar for all those who subscribe to my newsletter, The Gold Report. The Gold Report has been in publication for over two decades, and I've seen just about every market gold has been traded in. This experience lends me great insight when trading gold and other mining equities, and now that insight can be yours. On August 30th, I will deep dive into gold, bonds, and the dollar, where they are now, how they affect each other, and what to look for when looking to set up a trade. Additionally, I will provide a comprehensive breakdown of the XAU, HUI, and GDX, as well as cover individual gold equities and answer questions live on the air. Subscribe to the Gold Report today so you don't miss this rare moment in gold. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 159. You get the Nasdaq up 82. S&Ps are up 18. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and see what we're moving as we grind higher here, folks. Point-wise, what you have is this. We have 3M putting out 33 positive points. Goldman putting 30. Boeing putting 20. Home Depot putting 16. Taking away from it, you got Johnson & Johnson minus 14. Merck minus 9. Travelers minus 6. Inside the NDX 100. What you have is uh, 
CGEN is up 3.4%. Uh, you got uh, Warner Brothers up 3.3%. Uh, Charter Communications is up 3 And Lucid, uh, the car maker there, is up 2 Taken away from it. CrowdStrike's down 4 You got Dexcom off 1.5%. Uh, you got Zscaler down 1%. Uh, and uh, so if we go over, let me see if I can get this up quick. Because what we do have coming in here, Noah, there we go. Noah, Hurricane. Uh, Coming into Florida, what we do have is that, here we go. So let's take a look at this. You know, where we are in the St. Pete area, folks, so, you know, Clearwater Beach, St. Pete, Clearwater, St. Pete, Tampa. We've been always, not always, but we've been pretty lucky. And the reason is this. This is how this works. Now, if you're watching Tiger TV, I'm going to show you the storm. Now, the storm itself is just at Mexico right now. This is Right now, it's a tropical storm. What tends to happen, and I take these very seriously because the fact of the matter is up is in Hurricane Bob, up on Cape Cod in the 90s, Tommy and I, well, he was with me at Hurricane Bob also. We were in Katrina, okay? So I know what a hurricane does, and it's, you really have to take every one of them very seriously because they're very dangerous, they're fast, they're furious, and all of the above. Now, that being said, I've been in a lot of them down here, meaning you know, I've been down here now 24 years. You can see this right now, you know, the, the band is, is pretty large. But the, that's the saying, okay, where's it going to hit? And it makes sense it's pretty large because what you have is that it had, it's still down in Mexico, okay? So the speculation is, is that once it comes into the Gulf, because the waters are so hot, and they are, they're, 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 they're steaming, okay, that it will turn into a full-fledged hurricane. Now, what has happened many times, and this is where the poor people and the Panhandle and, and New Orleans, um, what tends to happen is that it's almost like a magnet that right now you can see this is bearing right. That's how they have it. But what seems to happen every single time that, not every time, I can't say that. That's the last thing I want to say. Okay, here, where is, you get the, here it is. It seems that every time that it comes in here, though, okay, so here it is here. What tends to happen is that it comes in, and then picture, this is almost like a gap, <laughs> that up at the top in the panhandle is like a magnet, and so instead of taking a right, it has to take a right to basically hit, you know, if you watch the Weather Channel, you know, today, you know, the bottom line is that they're saying that, yeah, we're going to get hit, meaning the Tampa, Clearwater area. Well, what seems to happen, it's already moved slightly to the north, and you're way down here, you know. So my point is this, is that if you're in these areas, keep a close eye on it, make sure that you do have what you need. Um, you know, but I suspect what's going to end up happening is that it's going to keep moving north and, you know, we'll see whether it turns into a, a full-fledged hurricane. They can, when they, when they do change, folks, right now it's only going three miles an hour. When they do change, it can be very fast and furious. There's no doubt about that. You know, that's what happened with Katrina. What happened with Katrina, within basically about 36 hours, that thing just accelerated beyond belief, man. But as I said, you know, it's the panhandle, it's New Orleans when they get in here. Because you can see, if you, if you happen to watch it here, you literally have to, especially how far this is out right now from the coast, you have to come up and take a right. The ones that come and actually can get into the West Coast a bit actually are much closer coming into Key West because then you can get brushed along the side. So bottom line is that we have our fingers crossed. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, most people, I suspect, uh, have already done exactly what they've done. I haven't boarded up uh, houses yet, but we're ready tomorrow morning if this thing uh, does, you know, basically think it's going to, Come in there. We're ready to board some houses up. So we'll we'll see how this shakes out. We uh, take a look at the 
Now let's go take a look at the 30 year. So I talked about the aspect of A. The note and bond market bottoming out. We take a look at this. And what you're going to see, I'll pull this back now. You're going to see same type of setup, meaning that when we came in, let me see this. Let me go. No, that way. When we came in last week, that was a huge sign of strength. That was after rejection of lower price. Let's go to John in New York. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. How you been? Okay. Good. Um, PPTA. Okay, let's take Paulson a look. Paulson has a big chunk of it. Do you know anything about it? Who has a big chunk? Paulson. Okay, Paulson. Okay, cool. So let's take a look. This is a mineral exploration company focused on gold mining. The lows are $1.69, the highs 544 Let's see what they do here. So it's still, they don't produce. And as John's talking about, you know, if you don't, Paulson, yeah, Paulson owns 39% of the company right here, okay? So Paulson, you know, has been in the gold business a long time. You also, see this one right underneath it, Sun Valley. Sun Valley is a big player inside the gold market. That's, that's a big player. And they own 7.8% of it. Okay, so let's see what we have. So where, let's see, where, where, do they, where do they do business, you know? Where are they doing I business? I think it's in Idaho. Idaho. Oh, that's even better. Okay, cool. All right, that's as, about as good as you can get. Okay, so put this on a weekly. You know what this used to be called? Midas Gold, I think. Oh, okay, I'm familiar with this. I got it. Yes, that would make sense. Okay, so they changed the name. Okay, let's put this on a monthly then. Okay. Well, you're gonna, you know, I mean, there's, there's not much here at this point. Doesn't mean that there won't be, you know? You know, it tends to happen. I mean, you know, this came off the lows like the rest of them, but I don't see, there hasn't been a sign of strength out here yet, John, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You wanna see a sign of strength, which is a wide price spread, and you just don't have it yet. Okay. You have any more questions? You can come back. Want to wait? Uh, yes. Stay right there. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. It's our Dow Industrials right now trading up 171. You get the Nasdaq up 94, S&Ps are up 21. We're talking with John from New York. And what's the next one you want to talk about, John? Uh, Vista Gold. How does it compare with that... Uh Cool. Perpetual gold. Let's take a look at it. So you get, Vista, you get Vista Gold, lows 45, the highs 75. Now, what's intriguing about this is that, watch this. <laughs> you don't have Paulson, but see Sun Valley? Sun, Sun Valley, you're going to find in almost, you know, many equities, but Sun Valley is the top owner of, of Vista Gold, 16.5%. Now, technically, the way you can see this is that you can see that, you came off the lows with a decent sign of strength, nothing heavy, but a decent sign of strength. What this has already done, however, is that you're going to take a look at this and you're going to see it's ready to break the 50. It already broke the nine. OK, it broke the nine four days ago. It's on the right side of the nine now. Right. And then if you take a look at this, it's also on the right side of the middle of the Bollinger. It jumped up there last week. So technically, this thing is ready to go again. And that's how Vista, that's, Vista trades like this, okay? Um, you know, and we'll see whether, you know, we get the traction. They both are still in the exploration phase. There's no doubt about that. I, do, I don't know minus, okay, what they have going. I mean, I know Vista upside down, you know. So mm -hmm. we'll see where it shakes out, man. Was that the sign of strength? last uh, week yes yes okay yeah it, 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 well you had both you had the rejection of lower price so if i bring this back here let me bring this back for a bit you're going to see where it rejected lower price also you can see straight across here you know it never made it to its, to the bottom actually but i'm glad it didn't make it to the bottom <laughs> you know bottom's a little bit lower but it rejected lower price and then you finally got a sign of strength and in this particular case, it's not that it, you know, it, it broke the downtrend, but it's just like when I first started, you know, even with the GDX, okay? That's just saying that, okay, you're at 50, and that's saying it wants to go to 56. But it's a start. That's, that's the bottom line, you know? It's, and when you go through enough of these, the, the ones that did act like that, if, you, if you're going through the, your equities, right? The ones that acted like that, they have started. Um, what you don't want to see, which a few of them are, is that here's your downtrend, right? Here's your downtrend. Oh, let's do it this. I got to do it this way because it's opposite, I believe. Yeah, let me do it this way. No, it's opposite. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out which way you see it on TV. Anyway, here's the downtrend, right? And so what ends up happening, a few of them basically haven't broken it yet. And they should have broke it. You know what I mean? Because... You know, we just had gold reject 1914 and it already at 1948 and we had silver reject, you know, the $23 level, you know. So, you know, as long as they go high enough, we know how this goes. They all go, okay. But when you get nice lows like this, it's nice to be in the strongest ones because the strongest ones are going to go fat first. Cooking, man. Okay, thank you. Papa. Good to hear your voice again too, John. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one.
Let's go take a look at the S&Ps, okay? So the S&Ps, they've been in a little consolidation all day long out here. Take up the futures, take a look at these babies. So I'm gonna run to the top of it again. You can see that we've been in this consolidation from uh, the 4447, you know, down to the bottom here of uh, 22. So we've been in a 20 point, 23 point consolidation, you know? And I see it looks the way it looks here. There's not gonna be nothing heavy, but it looks to me like they'll run it to the top of this consolidation coming into the close. And as I said, at the beginning of the program, I think what we're gonna have now is this. You're gonna get, we're gonna get a lot of economic news this week. It looks to me like no matter what it is, positive or negative, you know, it's always how the market looks at it, right? But the, the news is probably gonna be, let's say, negative enough, meaning the employment, you know, like what is, what is happening with hiring right now, right, is that, you know, it's not real easy to get a job anymore, okay? The bottom line is it's not like it was two years ago. You know, people are uh, basically either moving a job and it's not like I'm going to take this job and I'm going to go get an acceleration of pay and all that and go to another job. That's not happening. It is happening on the union jobs and that's going to continue to happen because the fact of the matter is, you know, in fact, let's look at uh, GM as we're doing this because the next deal is going to be the United Auto Workers and they get a beef. And you can see, you know, the bottom line is GM's going all the way down, has been down for a while, and they're going to have to pay up because the bottom line is that the United Auto Workers, okay, you know, they had a huge scandal, you know, that their union officials basically on the take. 13 of them, you know, bottom line, got indicted. The new guy that's out there is saying, hey, man, this is insane when Mary Barra, Mary Barra can take in $20 million, you know, in a few years and the uh, rank and file that are making the cars, you know, so they're going to get that pay raise. You know, there's going to be lingering pay raises that, that are out there and they're going to get them. They're going to get them. The pilots got them. The uh, transportation, you know, the... Sean O'Brien from Boston, Local 25. I know Local 25 upside down because the bottom line is that I'm from Boston and that was always a powerful union, uh, you know, but other than, you know, that, and th these are makeups. These are makeups for, you know, things that have happened in the last four or five years when in fact the companies and the executive suite has just taken money out of the market beyond belief. And this has been going on for a long time, man. And, you know, when you do have organizations that get together and say, this does, I mean, you can imagine, I'd go out of my freaking mind, you know, if you're part of the organization, you see the CEOs and the board and the executives making hundreds of millions, right? And you get a 3% raise. Because that, that's, what, that's what the auto workers got. So... They, if we want any cars on the road, folks, they get, they're getting a raise. But as I said, to me, inflation is going the opposite way. And it has already gone the opposite way. Those numbers are going to be coming in, and those numbers, are, I suspect, are going to be heavier, meaning smaller than we ever could imagine. Because I can tell you this, man. A year ago, I could never imagine that we could come down this fast. I just couldn't. And then... I start selling the, those containers and I start seeing every day, I says, hey man, this is, this is happening a lot faster than I ever thought it would actually happen. So we'll see where it goes, but that's what it looks like to me. We take, let's go to the oil. Let's take a look at the oil market. So this could be, the thing that's gonna be interesting about the oil market now is this, so check this out. Because of the fact that oil is priced in dollars, it's like, you know, you, you can make the argument that, okay, you know, if you, things are slowing down, you know, bottom line, oil should come down. Well, the other side of that on a fundamental basis, you know, is that oil is priced in dollars. And so if the dollar is getting weaker, well, most times when the dollar gets weaker, oil goes higher. You know, right now we have a, you know, a, we're at 80, at 79, you know, bottom line, there's this volume down there. So I think it's gonna first go down to 79. We'll see where that shakes out from here. Don't forget about the gold report, folks. If you would, uh, if you want to sign up, want to be in that workshop on Wednesday, just come over to our website at TFNN. It's right under the featured content. You can sign up, be in the workshop. 
get it. Money back guaranteed, 30 days. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And yeah, if we take a look at the SGOV, uh, what one of our targets was saying, you know, this is an ETF that tracks the, the zero to three month treasury bond. Now, needless to say that, yes, okay, um, that's been a good trade, okay? If I'm right on the context of where this is going, the sweet spot right now is actually setting up a longer one and it would be the five year. The reason being is that you have the, you have the two year right now trading at five, which is good, that's two years, you get 5%, you know, tax, not tax free, but um, risk free, you know. The five year is at 4.3, you know, so between the two year, in the five year, because th those will come, come down very quick. If in fact this note and bond market does bottom out and has bottomed out, you'll see that five year come down, bang, just like this, you know, because the, and you know, that's where it comes down to that, yeah, everything's a risk, but the reality is, is that uh, maybe a year from now, 5% for five years on a treasury is gonna probably look uh, pretty, I think it's gonna look really well, really good actually. And I'm, and I'm not saying the context that, you know, it's gonna be cut, 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 meaning the rates, it doesn't have to be. But when you make a turn, okay, when you can't bust them up, you're gonna try to bust them down. And what will end up happening is that 
the way the Fed looks at it is that they've been in a restrictive policy because what, what you do is this. You're going you're to take the rate of inflation, the real rate of inflation, versus what the 10-year Treasury is, okay? And the bottom line is that whatever that difference is, is the restrictive rate. Well, if in fact we get down that down to 2%, well, the bottom line is that that would mean that the 10-year Treasury is basically 2.3% over what the normalized rate would be, you know? So then that's, that's a double. That's a double. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Mm -hmm.